Hi, welcome back to Family and Fit, where we talk fitness and how to integrate it in your busy lifestyle. So as requested by one of our viewers, we're gonna go into a little bit of like kind of like a family workout and some workout routines that you can do with your kids. Depending on the age range, you may or may not be able to do some of these. Uh, your kids can start doing some of these workouts, but it just kind of depends on their age and their capabilities. Somebody specifically asked for some type of leg workouts. We're going to get right into that. We gotta do some leg workouts for the camera, okay? Okay. Yep, stay right there. All right, so we always encourage our kids to, you know, be active and, and do fun things and uh, come down here on the mats, kind of wrestle around. Um, and do something like this. All right, come here. Hey, come here, you. Sometimes it can get hectic here trying to work out with kids, so a lot of times uh, we don't, or we'll wait till they go to bed before we work out. So. We gonna show them you know, how we do a leg exercise, okay? You gonna help Daddy with his leg exercises, okay? All right. So the first thing we're gonna do. I voted on your bad Daddy. You, uh, you stink, dude. You're so nasty. You farted on me. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, the audio works for you guys because you probably can't see me too well from way over there um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into the movement uh, I really don't do too many of these workouts we generally you know weight lift and uh, whatnot but these can be very effective workouts um, even doing stuff like with just body weight can be very effective but being able to add some extra weight so yeah these workouts can be very effective really doing any amount of weight is better than no weight and doing any workout is better than no workout so this is gonna be something fun to do with your kids to get your kids active into fitness especially if you may have kids who are uh, not already in shape like uh, say for my little brother so I like to do stuff to incorporate fitness into his life and try to do active type of things like we go to sky zone just to keep him active uh, versus going to like the movies where he's inactive but we're just gonna do squats Let's get into it. So, for those of you who don't know, drop set means just to essentially continue the exact same workout, but to uh, lower the weight. So my son obviously weighs less than my daughter by about 10 pounds, and it'll just help uh, help being able to do some more reps. You don't you don't go into a drop set until you're completely fatigued um, and you feel like you can't do any more. We're kind of just going through and doing these for demonstration purposes. So after she gets to the point where she feels like she can't do no more or gets unsafe. All right, drop set again. Oh, just body weight, mama. Okay, come over here. Okay. All right, yeah. Come over here, get out of the camera. You get, get out of the camera, your big head's in the camera's way, watch out. All right, daddy's drop set. Come on. What? This is daddy's set. All right, so 
Ash is probably almost strong enough to do this right here, but uh, I need a little bit more weight, I think. If I want, if I want some man legs, I want to get rid of these little chicken legs. That's what I gotta do. For a drop set. Come on, Leah, you're enough. Okay. Okay, get him ready. For a jump, let's go jump. Ah, ah the leggy poos. Ah, ah, leggy poos. Ah, that's a failure. Ah, ah. <laughs> All right, mom. Let's go for mama's set. You just put your butt in mommy's face. Okay, come on. Look at that mama. Mm. Woo. You ready for the drop set? Are you ready? Yeah, you ready for the drop set? Okay. Wait till mama's ready. <laughs> oh yeah. Swap. Ready? Let's go. Going in. Look at her. Going right into the next set. I swapping. Yep. Swapping for a drop. No way. Come on. I gotta, I gotta keep track of mommy. Come on. You help her. One thing also, whenever doing some of these workouts, you know, uh, something that we don't hardly ever do. Ow. Something we don't hardly ever do is track our uh, workouts. Uh, we just go to failure. We go within a couple of uh, reps. A couple reps to failure, um, and I just like that scheme. I don't like tracking. It's just extra it adds stuff to do that's not enjoyable. Uh, I do fitness because I enjoy it, and if you really want to stick to it and do it long term, uh, I mean I'm in love with numbers. Most most things, most things, most things. Uh, I really like love tracking numbers and whatnot. And I do love to see my PRs increase, but um, at the end of the day. They're not what, uh, I don't like doing it when it comes to fitness. I like just, it takes away from my mind muscle connection. That, that's what it really is. It takes away from my own ability to use my intuitiveness and fill my body and to, to determine on the fly what my body needs and what I feel like is the most effective way for me to lift. All right, mama, you ready? My leggy poos are weaky poos. All right, ready? Come on, 
Oh, I can't do no more sets. <laughs> oh. My solid horses. I can't. I literally can't do I can't. Literally. No. Hey, how am I going to do sets if I'm stepping on kids? Ready? Watch out, kids. You're being unsafe. But you're not bending. You're going to drop me. You're not bending. Please don't drop me. Oh my god. Three. This is how you get maximum gains. Oh my god. <laughs>
my ankles. Oh, going to failure. A uh, couple more, baby. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mom, you want to try some of these? Head between the feet. Hug tight, kike. Hug tight, you big sissy. Go, mama. Keep your head down. Keep your head tucked down. You just have to keep him pushed up. There you go. Hold on tight, kike. Hold her legs. Hug her legs. There you go. There you go. So, depending. <laughs> Depending on like the age of your kids, like I said, experience level, the more often you do stuff like this, the more they'll get better at it. They really enjoy this stuff. They love the interaction with their parents. As you can see, let me look at them. Gives you time to really bond. <laughs> and like this is way bo better bonding time than watching TV. Way better bonding time than even going to the park. I mean to like, Okay. Truly like roll around and, and okay. just have that deep deep interaction like It's something that's lost in American society is like we just don't have that deep interconnection anymore and I think that's one of the reasons why I love martial arts so much is just because like Can you get that deep 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 connection? Yeah, can you get that deep deep connection? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna move on and uh, we'll take you guys into the next workout, dude. So going into the next workout, we're gonna do some pull-ups. Now these here, are, it's highly likely that a lot of people won't be able to do these. It's just because uh, pull-ups are hard in general. Another thing, I'm still, I'm using wrist straps on pull-ups, which is something like I advocate not doing. Uh, and the only reason I'm utilizing them is because of my my wrist injury. My wrists have been sore for the past past like ever since I started this upper routine actually. But so my wrist has been super sore and it, the pain just hasn't went away. It's like a like a tendonitis type of pain. Come here, Leah. Okay, turn around. Yep. All right. Two kids. Okay, come on. Hold the top of my legs, Leah. Hold the top of my legs, Leah. Yep, like that. Ready? So if you don't have any weights, that's a good way to hit these. Get some weighted pull-ups if you are strong enough to actually do some pull-ups and you want to do some lower repetition stuff. If you want to do some lower repetition stuff for strength, this is a very good way of doing it. I think my daughter's like 20 pounds, my son's about 20 pounds, so that's probably about 40 to 50 pounds. Uh, I don't know, they might be me more than 20 each. <laughs> Close to that though. So that's about the same, like I said, it's 40 pounds, 40 pound uh, weights. And for me no! right now, that's about 185. Uh, I'm also midway into I'm actually midway into my regular routine where I'm actually, I'm doing my upper workout while I'm shooting this video. 
um, the leg portion the, of this video that you're seeing. I'm just doing that for demonstration purposes. It's not really my leg day. Uh, but another thing that I'm trying to implement in my workouts a little bit more is I'm trying to hit exercises more frequently. And partially because I went into an upper to lower, uh, I just like the gym so much that what I've been doing is hitting my workouts not as hard, but just more of them per week. And then also doing a lot of stuff where I'm doing stuff daily, like I'm stopping and trying to hit like three, bare minimum of like three reps of, of like pull ups and just do that randomly throughout the day just to get my body used to doing the exercise. I'm really starting to uh, focus on like my pull up strength. Uh, just stay tuned, I'll, I'll make that for another video. Stay tuned and watch uh, my next video. I'll give you all like my uh, program update and what I think I'm gonna do for like the next three months or so. I think I gotta focus that I wanna focus on for the next three months, so that's what I'll do. Yeah, let's uh, can we go ahead and give them another workout real quick before we sign off? Let's give them one more workout, okay? So, I gave you one for legs, I gave you one for back. Uh, let's go ahead and give them one more for back, okay? Okay. okay. So, back exercise. Okay, lean you over. Uh, all right. <laughs> ah. 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 And to be honest, this is way more difficult than using weights just because of the uh, non-stability. The weights don't move around on you and they don't, they don't have a weird imbalance. So this is a back workout for somebody who may be more of a beginner. Uh, and you can pretty much do this with any age child and they'll probably be fine. As long as you're not doing crazy and doing like this. Ah! Baby shaking them, but okay. So that, that's another more beginner style uh, back workout. Next thing I'll give you, turn around, okay? Okay, Kike wants to get in on this one, okay? You did the last one, okay? This one's gonna be a chest workout. This is really gonna hit the up, upper chest. This one here will. And it may be a little bit more advanced depending on how heavy your kid is. I might use the actual bench press. You can do this laying on the ground. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be another chest variation. You can change this exercise as if you were in the gym, depending on how far you set back. Being that you're doing this with your children, it's probably not gonna be that much weight. You can do something as simple as taking like a couch cushion and posting it up behind you and putting it at different angles on a wall or something. And that'll help you get better range of motion and help you get, okay, ready? So I'm probably gonna do a little bit of a pop because, okay, keep your hands in the air. Keep, oh, he's gonna be a sissy. All right, we're doing it this way then. Okay, ready? Don't run the video, sissy. Sissy boy, get on, get out of here, sissy boy. Leah, come on. Okay, ready? We're gonna spin around. Okay, ready? 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 Okay, go stiff like a board. Go stiff like a board. A board. A board. Yep, straighten up, straighten. Get your hands straight too. There you go. Where you're holding the kid? Like if you hold it more above your head or hold it closer to your waist, that's gonna change how it works you out as well. Just fill your muscles out. I'm too big. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me know if you like this type of content. Um, I generally don't do this type of content. The name of this channel is Family and Fit, and that's because our main target is to get people who have children or just have obstacles in their life 
to the gym um, and the fact that we have a family and we're fit that's uh, kind of kind of the whole message we're trying to portray um, having a family having kids there's no excuse not to be in shape and be a role model for your children um, you just got to do it you got to do it for future society and for for your your own your child's future health and well-being um, and, and there's all kinds of other obstacles you know the family and fit is just kind of a metaphor for anything else that may be in your life whether it be college or whatever it may be um, preventing you from doing fitness and, and living a healthy uh, a healthy fulfilled life um, you know f fitness won't necessarily give you fulfillment but it'll point you in the right direction it'll point you towards the right people because uh, generally people in the fitness industry or people who work out and whatnot are in a different mindset than those who are in a low energy state higher energy people are generally happier people um, so just give it a shot don't let nothing discourage you don't let nothing stop you and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one